What is up guys, welcome to another Iron Man episode and in this one we're going to start off by doing some monthly stuff. I have the troll invasion and the oyster to do and I've started fishing some sailfish because I need more food as I was talking about in the end of my last video. So let's get into the monthlies. I'll put the troll invasion books in Erdlore probably all the way until 99, 74,000 experience and the oyster gives me 1.3 million. That's a, a fortunate component, can't complain too much about that. Let's see how much uh, farming experience I get from this every time, 880, and actually this uh, fishing spot is going to be very nice because uh, I'm going to get a 97 and that means I can do sailfish without having to use a fishing pot boost, so it's going to be a lot more AFK. I think I spent like one day doing fishing, maybe a bit more than that, and I got roughly 2500 sailfish, but I could only cook like 1000 of them because that's how many cooking potions I have, as I'm only 96 cooking. But I think 1000 sailfish will be quite a decent amount for what PVMing I want to do for a while. Come on, dude. Come on. Oh, yes. Nice, 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 nice. Ah, <sighs> okay, that is a 100% enraged Telos kill. Oh my god. Okay, that, that last phase felt pretty clean, I'm not gonna lie. I, it was pretty relaxing when I actually got the uh, tsunami on the first wave of ads. Why did I dismiss my yak? I don't know, dude. Anyways, let's see what the reward is. And- Oh! Onyxes! How many? One. Okay. Oh, that's really good, though. Uh, I kind of want to just claim that because I don't think it's uh, yeah I'm just going to claim it because I need onyxes for my uh, necklaces and yeah it's 40% my bracelet 62% perfect okay this was such a clean last phase I have to say it's about to die now just have to hit it like once and there we go okay I think I actually got the last phase down now I'm not panicking at all and that was just the second attempt Way faster. I almost killed it actually on the uh, first round. If I had a essence of finality with like a gothic staff in, I could definitely kill it in just one phase. So let's see what we get for this one. We get oh that was close. Is this Bayonite Stone Spirits? Oh, Light Enemica. Okay, I don't care about this. So I guess I'll just continue challenge. It's really just the high enraged damage in the the fourth phase that's hard for me. So um, yeah, last phase super easy. I actually died and lost that Light Enemica, but uh, I don't really care. It's uh, really just the first phases that are hard. I mean, not the first first, but uh, I think the uh, red one is super hard. That's where I died. And you can take so much damage if you just miss one single Hold Steel Invader. You can get hit for like 7,000. So that is kind of scary. I um, just have to get really used to how to do that clean. Okay, that was a very, very close one. I actually almost didn't have enough DPS to kill the boss, so uh, I was about to get one shot. But I did get it, so let's see what the last loot, or not the last loot, we have actually one more kill to do. But that is some herbs, 70 toad flax, probably not good enough to keep. So I'll just continue the challenge and see if we can actually get a 110% enraged kill. Hopefully I won't die. Oh, come on. I was on 9k HP left. Oh, that is something. Honestly, I just wanted to finish the Reaper assignment and I did get my 100% kill on Telos, which actually I, twice I got to kill. So I'm very happy with that and uh, both the times I did die when I tried to do higher than 100%, but that is fine. Let's see what I get for the reward at Battle Staves and it is 81 and as I'm going to stop doing Telos for now, I'm going to just claim the loot. I was actually looking at what it takes to make an essence of finality necklace and just to make the alchemical hydrix you of course need the hydrix and onyx which I put on it the one that I got from Telos and uh, you need all these these things that you have on the screen right now like 50 refined components is kind of insane I only have 22 I have the precious ones I think uh, but I don't have the rumbling components I do have the fortunate ones Let's see, all the way here, I do have 63, but the rumbling one is like super hard to get. It's from tier 90 items and like dry gores and all that stuff. So I would have to do Calphite King, get dry gores, and I kind of need a dry gore, so I don't want to like disassemble them. But I have to get two rumbling components somehow, and then in the future I will be able to make the essence of finality. But for now, I'm just going to keep this Hydrix in the bank for when I want to use it. In my last video, I actually did Elite Dungeons bosses for the first time. And I have killed the Crassy Leviathan before. But uh, that was on pretty much release. And I only did one kill. 
So if we go here, I have one single solo kill and that was six minutes, so a pretty slow kill, I would assume. But um, I bought these lucky charms before going in here and I got w a drop of nine onyx dust and then four onyx dust. So uh, if I can buy these from just killing, I mean, it's two mini bosses to get one of these and they're 10k per one and they give random onyx dust like 1 to 19 when you kill trash and it procs pretty often. So that is a very good way of getting onyx dust that I'm definitely going to do meanwhile doing some ED3. But um, that's what I wanted to get to. We're going to try ED3 in this one. And of course, the Ambassador is the last boss. And I only have a tier 85 weapon for ED3. Because I want to do it with melee. Maybe it's still good to do with ranged. I guess the last boss is good with ranged. But um, it's not going to be as efficient as ED2. And it is a bit harder, I think. So we will see how far I can get. And uh, I got 98 strength. Nice. Almost 99. I cleared all the trash to the Leviathan, and uh, by the way, just in Onyx Dust, I already have 21, and I used three of the Lucky Charms, so they pre proc pretty often. But um, for the boss, you actually have to bring a uh, Weapon Poison, otherwise it is going to heal 3000 every tick, instead of uh, 1000 if you have a Weapon Poison. So, uh, first attempt at the Leviathan is going to happen right now, and hopefully I will get the kill. Okay, 5 minutes for the first kill and 100,000 coins, not too bad on an Iron Man, but uh, no Onyx Dust, I actually got Blackstone Arrow Tips. Not sure what they're used for, but uh, maybe something good. So before we do the second boss, I wanted to get the Salve Amulet Enchanted, which gives a 20% damage increase to Undeads, which the second boss is. And the second boss is a very big DPS check, and with me having a tier 85, I definitely do want to get the Enchanted one for the 20% damage increase. And this should be the mini quest completed, Tarn's Lair. And now I have the normal one from Haunted Mine. If I use this on it, it is now enchanted. I am actually taking the most damage from this boss. I'm not sure why, but I feel like I might be doing something wrong. But I got pretty far into the fight. And I used the Vampirism Aura, and this is the gear I'm using. And uh, I don't know, I was taking a lot of damage. I had a Ripper Demon though, so maybe I should bring a Pack Yak. I didn't really feel like I was going to die at any point, but I just felt like the consistent damage was just draining my food like crazy. And uh, maybe there are some mechanics I can do a bit better. Hopefully I'm going to get it here before the portal goes up, but there we go. I got uh, 46 ghostly essence, that is a very bad. What is this drop even? 46 ghostly essence and 5000 dungeoneering tokens. That was an 11 minute kill by the way, and as you can see I used pretty much all my food. So uh, the guy that was watching said that you can barely use like zero food on this boss if you do it correctly. So obviously there's a lot of things I'm doing wrong. I'm probably not timing the mechanics right because in the end I didn't have to use that, use that much food when it was only the boss and really no adds. So if I get really good at timing when I should use the... by the way how many gold charms? Um, when I should be... Um, one. When I should be transitioning the boss uh, into the different phases, then maybe I will take a lot less damage. But the boss itself is really hard hitting, so I can still see how I would have to use quite a lot of food. I actually forgot to toggle my chest, but uh, as soon as I went into the next room to kill some trash, I got a darting shadow. Also, by the way, I got uh, six onyx dust, so two procced right away on the lucky charms, and the darting shadow is 25k alk, but you can actually disassemble this for components. That's what it's actually used for. So if I just disassemble this, you get 20, 10 swift components. I'm not sure how useful that is, but uh, nonetheless, I get some free components. We are about to die. I am now standing in front of the ambassador, and uh, this is the setup I'm going to use. I was recommended to use melee, but I feel like I'm going to get destroyed if I use a tier 85 compared to tier 90s. And uh, I actually made Hydrix bolts, the criminal bolts, enchanted, because these give adrenaline and uh, it is very nice to get some extra adrenaline on this boss for the uh, ads that come and all these different things. That's uh, at least the uh, bolts I've heard are really good. And I don't want to use a ruby criminal bolts when I'm learning because if I take like a 1k hit from the bolts, it's just unnecessary damage that I don't want to take and risk dying right away. So... Let's see how far I'll get the first attempt. Probably will die very fast. Oh, I am dead. 
I am so dead. That was a shorter time than I actually thought. Guess I'll barricade. Uh, what more can I do? I can resonance now, I guess. And what more can I do? Can I really do anything now? Or am I just dead? Oh, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> oh my god. That was, uh, that was damage. Two slight adaptions uh, I made now that I'm going to be learning. Uh, a sign of death for uh, maybe saving me on uh, one of the spinner hits. And a Reaper Demon, because uh, it's better to lose a Reaper Demon than to lose a Pack Yak with uh, like 30 food in it. Because I might die before I even use all the food. So uh, I think this is going to be both helping me with the spinners or the adds or whatever they're called. And also it is going to be uh, less loss on death. Okay. Uh, three of them. So that means... If I resonance here, is that going to be fine? Oh, that is not good. Uh, I, I signed. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> oh my god. I resonanced and I got hit for something else before. That's why I died there. That is unfortunate. Okay. Two of them. That's pretty good. But I have no adrenaline now, so I can't even barricade. Oh no. I'm dead again. <laughs> oh, I need adrenaline there. Now, as you can see on my money pouch, I have 4 million cash left and I started with, I do believe, 17 million and it's roughly 1 mil per death. So I have died, I think, 14 times or 13 times maybe it is. Uh, a lot of deaths and pretty much all of them are due to getting one shot after not killing enough adds or uh, misusing my defensives at that point and not really running out of food or anything like that. It's mostly just a DPS issue. And if you're like a really good ambassador soloer, then you might look at my gear and be like, yeah, your gear is fine. You're going to be fine with your gear. But I just don't really have the experience on how to kill this boss. And of course you need to uh, just practice for that. But uh, I, I think it's actually the most efficient or easiest way to kill the boss is actually with melee, but with two one hands. Because I, I feel like that's better DPS and you also have the, um, this ability right here, uh, the barge ability, so you can get to the adds really quick and uh, mainly I think single target is a bit more DPS with two one hands rather than a two hand and I have a tier 85 so there's a lot of things that I could have done better with melee and I think I don't want to lose all my money so I'm going to do two more attempts with magic and if I just die on the same place every time then I'm just going to uh, stop doing the ambassador for now, maybe get some upgrades and then come back here in the future. I know that there is a lot of good players in my comment section and uh, people that watch me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just live commentary right now. I'm probably going to screw up a lot because I'm live commentating, but I don't really care. It's whatever. I just want to see or show you guys what my thoughts are during this phase. So this is now live and I drink my weapon poison right now. Start DPSing these right away, just go soul split and I do as much damage as possible. I try to get my familiar special attack on it. And then I just keep running, got that down and then go to the next one. I try to place myself a bit closer to this uh, beam. I use some threshold abilities as well to get it down, use that. I think my familiar is not attacking now, so that is a bit unfortunate. Keep going to this one and I use another special. Have a lot of adrenaline now actually, so that's pretty good. Keep going here, should be able to kill this, got an aftershock proc I think. I th oh, did that not die? It didn't die. Okay, I'm running over here. Did I take a hit? I did not. Oh, it actually died. Okay, that is kind of awkward. Uh, so I have three left now and will this die in time? This is going to be super close. Uh, I think I'm getting it down. Okay, so I got it down. Oh, I didn't get it down. Okay, yeah, so as you can see, it's very close and I'm going to just use barricade first. So use the barricade and seven seconds left. Will I be able to tank another one? I'm probably going to have to resonance here. I'll just resonance for safety. Resonance that one. And as you can see now, I don't really have adrenaline. I guess if I had adrenaline potion, but uh, I actually could tank that just on, uh, well, having full HP basically. So as you can see, it is very close and I did manage to live now, but uh, yeah. That's pretty much how close it is. It can't really be much uh, much closer than that. Okay, that was a that was a two one. Uh, so that is pretty nice. But um, now I actually have to survive. 
this hit, which I don't. Okay, um, that was the last try I'm going to do, and uh, I actually managed to get through two of those ad phases, and on the last one I had only two minions go in, and of course I could have lived there, but I had like no food left anyway, so th it was a death. But I got 250,000 of Ambassador's health down, and the first phase is said to be the harder one. So I'm pretty happy with my progress, I'm definitely going to get back to this boss in the future. If I do manage to get a bit more DPS out, this should be possible as I kill. I'm doing a Reaper assignment of Rex Matriarchs now, and uh, look at what you can do to Orikalka. This is... Uh, Kind of funny, you can literally just root him and you just sit here and DPS for like 24 seconds and then he will start moving towards you because the root uh, obviously wears off and you can just root it again right away. So if you have the timing, so you can actually just root the boss forever and you don't have to care about any mechanics and uh, I'm not really keeping track of the timing now so you can see now it starts moving. If I just root it again, if I can actually do that, there we go, that is the root. And now we can just outrange it again. And I can just surge through the boss after that. And uh, just run the other way and root it. So <laughs> it's super AFK or Kalka. Usually I didn't really enjoy this boss. Because of the annoying freeze mechanic. But you can actually just avoid it. Doing this. So it's very nice. Well I'm actually at Telos now. And I wanted to try and do a 0 to 100% enrage without dying. And that might not go great. I'm actually trying Masterwork with my tier 85 Dragon Rider Lance. I wanted to try melee instead because the minions in the last phase are kind of a struggle for me with magic. Which might seem weird because magic has pretty good AoE. But for some reason I just struggle with killing them. My uh, usually this ability, the detonate, isn't really uh, working out for me. I'm pretty bad at timing the anticipation and stuff like that so I don't get uh, stunned on using it. But uh, melee killing the adds super easy. I just cleave them into a quake or a quake into cleave into a hurricane. They're all instantly dead and very easy to do it that way. The only downside really is that it's a tier 85 weapon with um, not the best perk. I might have to actually upgrade this with ancient invention. I should probably do that. Um, but yeah, it's not aftershock or anything. But I do at least have a crackling, relentless and, and devoted and that. So it should be okay. Let's see what the first loot is going to be. We get a crushed nest, 46 of them, so not that good. But it is 0% enraged and now it's 8%, so that's a minor increase. Went ahead and got some better perks. Precise 5 looting in one of them and actually on the first try Equilibrium 4. So this should be pretty good perks to have on my weapon for uh, Telos. It's not <laughs> dead yet and second loot is some herbs and 86 total flags. And the enrage is going to be increasing by 10%. Third loot is Black Dragon Heights, 111, up over 1 million now. So let's see what the enrage is going to be. Ooh, that's a 20, that's a big increase. Just want to be safe now, starting to use a pack yak. So let's see what the, the, I think, fourth loot is going to be. And it is going to be Stone Spirits, which ones? It is Light and Emika ones. So 38%, now it is going to be... 50% so we are now at the middle point. Actually drained so much food in the red phase there I got uh, really screwed by up by the beams and I actually took so much damage from the explosions the boss does at like 100% uh, energy So that was kind of scary, but uh, did manage to get the kill stop spinning and we get stone spirits again Even more light in Nimica ones and how much more enrage is it going to be? 14% that's quite hefty now so I'm taking a quick break from Telos and don't worry I will get back to it in just a bit but uh, I actually want to look into getting Dreadnips because that is such a good item for Telos because it just casually stuns the boss and does some extra damage and stuns is super good versus Telos and to be able to unlock them you have to do 450 bosses and spectate a match, get 500 Dreadnips on purchase must complete 25 more so I guess it's like for every 500 red nips you do 25 more after you've done 450 bosses also I have to do these two things which should be very easy but it is a very a very long grind 450 bosses in the dominion tower takes a very long time you kill one at a time you go up to the next level you kill another one I have to do that 450 times I'm at 7 bosses now and I'm actually going to start a Vampirism Aura, so I'm going to do this for 1 hour. Let's see how many kills we can get in that 1 hour from 7. 
not quite an hour, but like 58 minutes, I guess that's good enough. But uh, I did this kind of semi AFK, not that efficient, and I actually didn't skip like any bosses at all. So if I would have skipped bosses that were really annoying, I could have got way more than this. So from 7 to 55, so like 48 in an hour, that's roughly 1 per minute, roughly. A bit less than that, and if I optimize, I could probably go up to like 70 an hour, or maybe 60 an hour, I think for sure 60. So this should be roughly like a, I guess, ooh, this is like an 8 hour grind, or a bit less than that, maybe 7 hours, but um, I'll get it done nonetheless. Let's see how many bosses I'm currently at. I'm at uh, 158 bosses, but why I'm recording now is because I just went past 25 in the endurance mode, and uh, that is one of the requirements except for 450 bosses that you need to have completed for the dreadnips, so now it's all about getting those boss kills. I actually finished all the kills that I needed. I killed 450 bosses, but um, it still says that I have to spectate a match, and it still says that this is grey. I guess it's grey until you complete everything. And this one still says 0 out of 25 endurance, special fights, all that. Even though I have definitely got to like stage 40 on endurance. So uh, I'm going to spectate a match and see if that just finishes everything. That was legitimately a bug where uh, you actually had to complete one more fight after 450. So if I do like this now, I actually couldn't claim it before. But now that I have... 451 I can claim it so that's 500 red nips it's going to be good for quite a while and if I want to get more of them I just have to do 25 bosses and then I can click claim again to get 500 more getting 99 strength on the last phase of Telos when he's about to die hopefully I don't die here as well that would be kind of awkward but um, I actually did a mistake I didn't swap world I went to world 2 to spectate someone in the dominion tower and I forgot to switch world I'm going to take a lot of damage here, unfortunately, but probably not going to die. But um, I have insane lag, actually, right now on this boss. Uh, if you guys do a lot of PVMing, you know that uh, doing any type of bossing on a world that has, like, 400 people on it is really bad. This world has, like, 900, so... Um, ooh, as you can see, that delay, it is... Uh, yeah, I actually thought I would die here, but it uh, looks like I'm going to be fine. And this is a 64% enrage kill, and uh, let's see what we're going to get, how much more enrage, what loot we're going to get. Hopefully we will go all the way to 100%, get the 100% kill without dying. But 62% um, enrage for some stone spirits, that is, uh, ooh, not the best. Continue challenge, and we get 64% to 80%, I think, yeah. 80% done, not really that scary at all, so let's see what we get, and I do feel like the Dreadnips are doing some decent work. I feel like they randomly stun the boss pretty often, and it is helping me get uh, a lot less abilities from the boss, which is very nice. 148 to Blue Dragonites, let's see if we can get 20% for 100%, but probably not, yeah, 15%, so we will have to do two more kills. We got the 95% down and actually uh, had to use a bit more food there, but I got a pretty good uh, um, Berserk in the red phase, which I finished that one really fast, so happy about that. Now we're going to get into the golden rank with... Uh, oh, good. Not too much over 100, please. But yeah, nice. We're now at the, you can see here, gold price tier, so now we get a significant increase on the drops. But if I die now, I lose all the loot I've collected so far. Which is not too much. Oh. Okay, we got it. 100% enrage from zero without dying. Let's see what the loot is going to be for this 100% uh, enrage kill. I'm probably going to claim it here because uh, I'm really close to dying. I mean, I have a lot of Sarah Domin Bruce left, but uh, on the DPS on the last phase with my tier 85, uh, I'm struggling a bit to make it in time because I'm not doing it super clean. Uh, as well and uh, let's see what the loot is going to be we get some red dragon eyed unfortunately 200 hmm i'm not sure if i should claim this the dragon heights are kind of useless and i think i'm just going to keep it for now because uh, yeah a chance obviously of getting something even better and nine percent is not too bad but I think that's going to be a good end goal for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And in the next one, we can maybe go a bit higher than 100% enrage and risk all that loot. 
And uh, if you did like the video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see future content and all that good stuff. Also click any of the videos on the screen right now or the playlist to the entire series if you want to see more right away. Have a good one, guys. Take care.